Robert McCall's stopwatch is ticking as the Sicilian Mafia braces itself. Director Antoine Fuqua's The Equalizer 3 is primed for a theatrical debut that coincides with the Labor Day weekend. While celebrations reverberate with cookouts and fireworks, Denzel Washington's McCall will be redefining the equilibrium on the Italian turf. Fuqua aptly characterizes this installment as a final masterpiece for McCall, a notion he expounded upon in an exclusive interview with Movie Web. Crafting action sequences is an intimate endeavor. It holds true for all Equalizer films, but this one, it delves deeper into McCall's essence. It's akin to his magnum opus, an unrelenting symphony of retribution against those deserving. The distinctive aspect is that McCall, usually a savior, finds himself receiving aid in an unforeseen manner. For those yet to glimpse the trailers or teasers of McCall's impending odyssey, the character, portrayed by Washington, has bid farewell to the United States after quelling his erstwhile friend turned foe, Dave York, and his trio of underlings in The Equalizer 2. The official synopsis for The Equalizer 3 elucidates, having relinquished his life as a government assassin, Robert McCall grapples with reconciling his tumultuous past, finding a peculiar solace in meeting justice on behalf of the marginalized. Enveloped by an unexpected sense of belonging in southern Italy, he discovers that his newfound companions are entrapped by local crime overlords. As events spiral perilously, McCall is resolute in his course, safeguard his friends by confronting the Mafia. The Equalizer 3 charts McCall's journey to forge a new existence overseas, with his unwavering commitment to liberating his Italian associates from the clutches of the Sicilian Mafia anchoring the pulse-pounding narrative. Amid the high-octane action, the movie also affords McCall the closure he has been seeking. Director Antoine Fuqua, in an exclusive interview with Screen Rant, elaborated, Richard Wenk penned an exceptional script. Our deliberations on McCall's trajectory began during Equalizer 2. Amidst breaks, we exchanged ideas, all culminating in identifying a haven for Robert McCall. We meticulously traced his evolution, his quest for purpose, his endeavor to reconcile with his past, leading us to the point where he would find tranquility. Following his definitive masterstroke of altruistic violence, he secures a haven, encapsulating his journey. Dakota Fanning's character also becomes a pivotal facet of McCall's expedition in the new film. Notably, Washington and Fanning previously shared the screen in Man on Fire in 2004. Fuqua underscored their intertwined dynamic as both actors and characters, confiding to screen rant. Undoubtedly, Denzel and Dakota share a bond from Man on Fire, a bond that has endured the test of time. We were fortunate and blessed to have her embrace this project. Their enduring rapport shines through. Within this narrative, the interaction takes on a profoundly personal hue as she grapples with the enigma behind McCall's assistance. The genuine affection between Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning resonates, infusing authenticity. With a track record of aiding countless individuals across the initial two films, McCall's course remains marked by his commitment to justice. In The Equalizer, he embroiled himself with the Russian Mafia to rescue Terry from peril. While The Equalizer 2 pivoted towards McCall's vengeful quest subsequent to the murder of Susan Plummer, a close friend, at the hands of his former associate, Dave York. Before McCall fully immerses himself in the idyllic Italian expanse, rest assured that The Equalizer is poised to meet out of violence resolute brand of justice to the Sicilian Mafia. The Equalizer 3 is set to grace theaters on September 1st, promising a riveting blend of action, closure, and the continued legacy of McCall's vigilant pursuit of equilibrium. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side